I know it's I know it's been a long time since I've made a video, but I do want to make a quick, very quick disclaimer. Before we get into this video, I know I titled it something like Overcoming My Depression for a Day. I do a series on my channel of Overcoming My Social Anxiety, so if you're new here, you wouldn't know about that. But these videos aren't intended to romanticize or act like depression and social anxiety are something you can just overcome. It's just kind of like a thing that you've got to work on to get better, which I'm well aware of and it hurts sometimes, but I just kind of make these videos so if you're struggling, you can see that I am too and we can kind of work on it together. I never ever want to romanticize it or make it seem like less than it is and I don't really share a lot about my depression on my channel because it's so hard to talk about. I find anxiety a little bit easier to talk about, but I've been going through a really tough time these past like few weeks and I just thought instead of pretending I'm okay and just filming a video, why don't I just film a video about like what I'm actually feeling? It just, it it's so draining trying to pretend to be happy all the time. Um, just in your daily life, like going to work and going to school while you're depressed. And I don't want YouTube to be that for me, something that I have to pretend. We're just going to engage in some healthy habits that are going to make us feel better. So yeah, disclaimer out of the way. I am super proud of myself because I just made a phone call that I've been putting off since September. I know I'm the worst. Like, actually, I... Okay, we're not going to... No negative self-talk, but... I have been putting this phone call off since September because phone calls give me severe anxiety and the guilt, like the actual guilt of not making this phone call was eating me alive. I couldn't sleep at night and I would have dreams about making this phone call and like the worst po possible situation that could happen during the phone call was happening in my dreams and I literally couldn't sleep and I was like, you know what, I have to do this. And I'm not even kidding, I feel so much better right now. Obviously, I'm not cured or like instantly a whole new person. I think I'm also on an adrenaline high and my heart is racing because I've been, I've been so anxious the past two days. I haven't, like I've been walking laps in my room because I can't sit still, so. Yeah. I've already done the hardest part, which was yesterday I had a shower and I washed my hair and then I washed my sheets and all my blankets and made my bed. That was so hard for me. Um, sometimes it just gets really bad and it's hard to do the basic things, which I'm sure you may have experienced. I wish none of you would know what that feels like, but unfortunately a lot of us do, so. If you're ha struggling to get out of bed today, have a shower or anything like that, I highly encourage you. It feels so good. Even if all you can do is have a shower and put the same pajamas back on and then just go to bed, that's fine, but try. <sighs> but anyway, I always show you me doing my laundry, so I'm just gonna do a quick little montage or something of it, and then I am going to work out. Do I want to? No, like it's literally the last thing I wanna do right now, but I know I'm just gonna go for a short little walk on the treadmill. It's nothing crazy, nothing out there, nothing too strenuous, just wanna move my body. Um, I did get out of the house today. So my parents have been dragging me out of the house in the mornings because I think they can kind of tell it's not going great up here for me. They know, they know. So yeah, later on I'll talk a little bit more about my history with um, depression. I don't know why it feels so, like I'm just flushing myself out for you when I say the word depression. But yeah, we'll talk more about my mental state later. But for now, laundry and working out. I really don't want to. but the thought of doing my laundry made me like absolutely not want to get out of bed and just like I don't know what it is like I struggle with this a lot of feeling like is it just laziness or you know what I mean like <sighs> certain things I just physically cannot do and I'm trying to learn not to question that if my body and my mind are telling me not to do something within reason. I'm just not gonna do them or not force myself to do them. I'll do my laundry later. I'm just not gonna do it now. I'm gonna work out first, have a quick shower, and then hopefully I'm feeling well enough to do it after. But I used to just feel like I couldn't do something and then I would just lay in my bed and be so sad that I wasn't doing the thing that I wanted to do and then I wouldn't get anything else done because I needed to do things in a certain order. So I'm trying to be more lax with that. 
and just do them whenever I can because that's the best I can do. I just realized what my sweater looks like. <laughs> Fit check. I am home alone right now, so I don't have to worry about disturbing anyone. We can just chat. This claw clip is literally on its last legs. Like, it barely even holds my hair up and it hurts, but I don't like throwing things out. I feel like it's such a waste, so. Got my water. But anyway, I don't think I'm gonna talk too much while I'm working out because I'm gonna be out of breath and huffing and puffing and it's not gonna be attractive. But I have my iPad. Yeah, I bring every device into the workout room with me. Don't judge me. And I think I'm just gonna watch some YouTube videos. I don't know what I'm gonna watch. Yeah, I'm just gonna watch some YouTube videos. I have my AirPods here. But yeah, I'll set up a little time up so you can see me working out because I know you just wanna see all of this in its purest form. Okay, bye. I'm very out of breath, <clears throat> but I feel better. Anyway, I always stretch after I work out because that's what you're supposed to do. Um, yeah, I love how I act like I'm so groundbreaking by sharing that. I have a huge hole in my sock. The thought of working out is always so daunting and it's just like, God, I don't want to do it. And I think part of it is knowing that I have to shower right after because you can't just like work out and then take a break. You know what I mean? You have to work out and then have a shower, which for some people, a shower is probably a break. But for me, it's just like, God, like another thing to do. And I hate it. I hate that that's my thought, but it'd be like that sometimes. So yeah, I find stretching really relaxing. I used to be a dancer, if you didn't know. I think I've said that before, but I was a dancer for like 11 or 12 years and stretching always brings me back to those times so yeah you can take the girl out of dance but you can't take the dance out of the girl you know what I mean yeah I've got really good arches I used to be able to do the splits I definitely don't think I can anyway sorry my camera cut off because I ran out of storage on my card so I had to deal with that but I have no memory of what I was saying before the camera cut off so probably for the best I am gonna go have a shower now so come join me my bathroom fan is on, so I'm sorry. You can almost definitely hear it. I know it's loud, but I am going to have a shower now. As I mentioned, I just washed my hair, so I'm just gonna wet it. Hopefully I'll blow dry it. I don't know, I always lose all bursts of energy. So yeah, let's go. I am not unchanging on camera. <laughs> sorry, I think I'm actively losing my mind, but yeah, it's just a sports bra. But yeah, I am gonna go have a shower. I feel like this whole vlog is just me saying I'm gonna do things. We're gonna talk after, we're gonna journal. I have to journal because I haven't journaled yet, okay? So after these commercials, we're gonna be journaling. What am I even saying? What am I saying? I wanna listen to music out loud. I'm home alone, so I can listen to music while I shower. What am I gonna listen to though? I don't know, BRB. We're gonna start our shower. My shower's fun. You turn it on like this. Yeah. I forgot about this song. I don't know if you can hear me, but it's good. fresh and clean out of the shower. And I'm sitting at my desk because, like I said, we're going to journal. I hate the way I look with this hair towel on and this pimple is quite red, but 
we're gonna ignore it. Anyway, journaling. I hope I was able to do something cool there. I really wanna improve my editing, but it's tricky. So this journal, this pink one here, my brother got for me for my birthday like three years ago, I think. And I already had a couple journals so I never really know what to put in this pink one my brother got me, but recently I decided I'm gonna put my movie tickets in here. I've been keeping my movie tickets for as long as I can remember. A lot of them, I don't know where they ended up, but I've got quite a few in here. The very first ones are so cool. Oh, it says the city, of course, but they're like little square tickets like that. Yeah, I don't really care if you can see what I wrote. These I actually found in a jacket that I thrifted. It's for the movie Dead Don't Die. I think it's that one with Bill Murray and Adam Driver with the zombies. I've seen it, but I never saw it in theaters. And I just thought it looked cool because I've never gotten square tickets like that before. And I've been to that movie theater so many times, but I don't know what year that movie came out because the tickets were only $11.99 and they haven't been that cheap in a long time. So <laughs> anyway, the most recent movie I went to go see was Puss in Boots. Oh, yeah, it, they always have the city, but I saw Puss in Boots. It won't focus. My dad was like, hey, wanna hang out? So we spent like a whole day together, which was fun because my dad and I don't usually do that. I don't know. And my dad loves animated <laughs> movies like that. Like, I'm not joking when I say my dad loves Minions. Like, he's like a Facebook mom. He always has loved animated movies. Like, when we were kids, I think he wanted to see them more than we did. So, yeah. Anyway, so I saw Bustin' Boots with my dad and we had fun. It was actually, like, pretty good. And I'm using double-sided double -sided tape this time, which is a little bit different for me. But I just tape the tickets in the left hand page of the notebook and then I just kind of write on the right hand page like my experience and it's not even just necessarily about like the movie in general it's also like who I went to see it with what I did that day and stuff like that because obviously I'm not like a movie reviewer and I don't think I'm a movie reviewer. I just think it's kind of fun to remember these experiences like I think I have I have tickets in here when I saw after with my best friends after we collided, September 12th, 2020. And it's just like funny to look back and remember who I saw it with, why I saw it, how I felt about it and all this stuff. I just think it's so fun. I've always been a movie lover and I just love going to the movies. So I thought, why wouldn't I make a journal about movies? Because I love them. So yeah, I'm just gonna write about my Puss in Boots experience and you can watch. I'm done writing in my journal. I don't really rate the movies out of 10 or anything like that. This is just solely for the experience and feelings of movies. I also have a Letterboxd account, which I log every movie I see on there. And those ones you have to rate like out of five. I think you have to, I don't really know, but that's kind of where I just rate them. That's life. And then I think if you guys are interested, I would love to make like a whole video on the three journals I have and like what I keep in them and why I keep them and stuff. So let me know if you're interested. Mental health just fucking sucks. Like I have so many ideas and things, but the thought of getting out of bed makes me want to cry. So it's like, what am I gonna do? Anyway, I like to let my hair really get to like 80, 90% dry before I blow dry it. I'm also trying to go on my phone less, I say, as I'm scrolling on my phone, but I don't know. I just haven't been like myself lately as I've described. So I haven't really wanted to do anything. Like nothing brings me joy anymore. And I know I'm saying that really lightheartedly, but I promise I'm being serious. I just, I haven't even been able to read books recently because I like can't focus on them and I'm forgetting everything. Like I have the worst memory lately. Like my brain is just such a fog. I'm not remembering anything. And I'll like try to read and I'm just not into it. Like literally my favorite pastime lately has been listening to music and staring at my wall. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Sometimes I don't even listen to music. Sometimes I just stare at the wall. But yeah, and I'm kind of sick of all my music right now too. It's just not hitting right. And I know it's because I'm just lacking like dopamine, whatever that thing is that you get when you like, like something, you know? My brain just isn't producing that right now. So even if I do like something, it doesn't make me, I just don't feel it the same. I kind of want to lotion my body today. I try to do it after every shower, but sometimes things just fall through the cracks, so. I don't always do it. This lotion from the body shop, the body butter, best stuff I've ever had the pleasure of purchasing. Um, I love the body shop. My mom used to get lotion from them when I was a kid, like that peppermint foot stuff, which I have as well. But this stuff costs like an arm and a leg. I think it's like 25 bucks. 
for this, but I'm not even kidding. I've had this exact one for four years now. And like, as much as I love Bath & Body Works lotion scents and stuff, their lotions don't like keep me moisturized for longer than like two hours probably. So I really like this body butter, especially for my feet because they get so dry. But I know this is exactly why you clicked on this video is to hear me talk about lotion, but I hope you're enjoying it. I'm not gonna lotion my whole body. I'm just gonna do my elbows and feet. So yeah, it's the little things in life, you know? But yeah, I don't really know what I'm gonna do right this very second. I think I'm gonna order myself dinner tonight. I haven't ordered myself food in, well, actually, I, I don't know. It's been like three or four months or even longer, I think, because it's such like, it's so expensive to order food. So I just don't do it and I'm proud of myself. I don't wanna drive anywhere tonight. I'm home alone. I don't think I have any food left. Um. I think I have soup, but I've had soup so much. And like, I deserve to treat myself every now and then. So I think I'm gonna get Mucho Burrito. I love Mucho so much. It's so good. Anyway, I'm gonna put some pajamas on or sweatpants, comfy clothes. This pimple is bright. Wow. It's honestly just like a dry skin patch now. I feel like I'm talking so much. Ooh, look at the sky outside. Blue skies, blue hour. Ooh, I think I'm gonna put these Halloween socks on. They're a little um, compression-y, but oh. Oh, I thought you could see my whole body in the mirror and I was like, why did I do that? But yeah, like the best thing ever is putting lotion on your feet and then putting socks on top, at least in my opinion. And then I'm going to wear this New Orleans t-shirt. I'm, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. It's got a little saxophone on it. I thrifted this in 2015, so. No big deal, but I get so much wear out of it. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I'll be right back. I never really show you the view out of my window because my bedroom faces the street, but I can show you the view out of my sister's window because she moved out. So I can just go in here whenever I want. <laughs> yeah, this is the backyard, but look at how nice. I love blue hour. I don't know, is that vibes? I can't really tell. She also forgot this mirror when she moved away. It's super cool and like ornate. She painted it gold. She thrifted it from Willie Village. Sister check. Hi Willies, I miss you. <sighs> anyway, sometimes I just come in here. You know how it is. Her light is so bright. Anyway, yeah, I miss my sister. With my cysts, like they're so dry. I have been putting extra moisturizer on them just like whenever I can because I have the CeraVe salicylic acid moisturizer. So obviously that's good for like pimples and stuff. And this is like a little scar that a pimple left. So I've really been packing it on. I find this moisturizer is quite light. It doesn't clog up my pores or anything. So yeah, a little life hack. Okay, I am going to lay in bed watch some YouTube, let my hair dry a little bit more. It's almost feeling like I could blow dry it now, but actually no, it's too wet. I'm gonna let my hair dry a little bit more, just lay in bed and I'll see you when I blow dry it, so. Okay, I ordered my dinner and I got 25% off because DoorDash missed me so much. Perks of saving money, I guess, I don't know. I ordered myself a Diet Pepsi because I got it for free basically, so we're living large. Anyway, let's blow dry our hair. God, I haven't blow dried my hair in so long. It's gonna be crazy. <laughs> I wish there was like an easy place for me to film over here, but there's not. That's life. Well, I'm gonna get my stuff all ready and then we'll figure this out. Okay, I know the lighting's awful, but I'm sorry. You're just gonna have to bear with me. There's like, I can't do anything about it. But yeah, I'm gonna use the smaller brush attachment for my hair dryer today. Cause I kind of want more of that like tighter curl look, especially because I'm gonna be sleeping on it. So it's gonna loosen up. And then I'm gonna use the tiniest bit of Olaplex number seven, just in my ends. Because apparently it's a heat protectant too. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> I say that every time and I just never look it up, but yeah. And I always like to start with my bangs, so cue the time lapse. Am I blurry? I do my hair. Um, I literally never do that anymore. 
I just it, it doesn't make that long like the footage of me doing that and setting it up was like 15 minutes Which is really not that long when you think about it, but I do like showering at night So kind of I'm tired by the time I get out of the shower And also it's kind of loud to like blow dry your hair So if it's like too late I'm not gonna blow dry my hair and keep my entire family up because I don't live on my own But yeah, maybe one day I'll get into the habit of doing that more often because I know it's like heat on your hair but my hair has never felt more smooth more soft better than when I blow dry it and it lasts like a whole week I really am still so tempted to trim my bangs but the thought of going to get my hair cut kind of gives me like an anxiety rash like I've been getting so anxious lately I'm breaking out in like rashes on my neck it just makes me nervous so I'm not I keep talking to myself in the mirror because I'm looking at myself and I'm losing my mind I'm the only person who talks to me so I don't fucking know. Anyway, yeah, I used a little bit of the, the Moroccan oil treatment for fine hair at the end. It's actually my mom's container because mine evaporated when I brought it on an airplane with me to Los Angeles because I still have it because I'm in denial, but this tiny one completely evaporated. It was like half full. So my mom has this big one and she said I could use it. So I used it, but also my thumbnail broke while I was doing that and it kept getting caught in my hair and I was ready to fucking scream. Okay, my food's at the door, so I am going to get it but we're gonna go downstairs and watch TV. We have um, like a projector downstairs. I came with the house when we bought it. We did not put it in because it's like quite expensive, I think, to put a projector in. I don't really, I don't know what I'm talking about, honestly, but I finally connected our PS4 to it so I can watch Disney Plus down there. So let's watch some TV and eat. Okay, I'm downstairs. Got my diet Pepsi. I don't really like Pepsi, but I don't mind the diet. And then I got a burrito. Also, I realized when I was outside, it's raining out there. I love the rain. It's such weird weather for January. Like, usually this is like peak winter, but it's actually warming up and raining. But I mean, it, the first snowfall was November 3rd, so we kind of deserve an early spring. I'm so hungry. Oh, I didn't even tell you. I am re-watching Criminal Minds. I haven't re-watched it since... Like the last time I did a rewatch was 2019, I think, which was right before it really like blew up on TikTok. Like there was a huge Criminal Minds era during quarantine, but I had just rewatched it. So I felt kind of left out because I didn't want to rewatch it again like six months later. But yeah, I'm on season four, episode 23. So I'm just gonna eat and watch. in my room now if you couldn't tell but it's only about 7 30 i watched two episodes of criminal minds and ate my dinner and i've been knitting a scarf i left it downstairs but i can knit without having to look so with the lights off and watching a show is kind of like the best time to knit for me but my finger's a little sore from like the knitting needle is a little sharp so it digs into my finger every time i push it whatever knitters know what i mean <laughs> but yeah that probably is gonna be it for this video. I really just want to lay in bed. Maybe I'll start editing this video. I don't know. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little video and look into me and how my life's going. I know I didn't really get too personal or talk about too much. I just really couldn't today, but I am feeling better than I have been the past like week. So that's a plus, but I do feel better usually when I talk to people. So yeah, when I can afford therapy, it's gonna be over for you guys. <laughs> I'm kidding, but imagine being able to afford therapy and go once a week. Like I'm not even kidding. I'm sure most of my life problems would be solved if I could do that but maybe maybe in a few years I don't know but yeah I'm working on it and I hope if you're not feeling the best or you know not feeling great I hope you're working on it too and yeah even if you're not even if you're just laying in bed feeling awful just know that I've been there and I know what it feels like and if you can even just have a shower or grab a glass of water whatever you can do is enough so you're good enough is the best how does that saying go your best is good enough, I think. <laughs> the song Optimistic by Radiohead came on shuffle last night and I cried while listening to it. It's not even that sad, but the lyrics, I was just like, oh my God. <laughs> Most of the time I just listen to like the beat of a song, but sometimes the lyrics just hit you right when you need them to. Yeah, the best you can is good enough. I'll end it with those words because ain't that the truth. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next video, which will be very soon. So thank you for always sticking with me. Anyway, I'm gonna hug my Squishmallow and lay in bed. Hope you have a great night or whatever time of the day it is for you and yeah I keep saying goodbye but I'm not ready to say goodbye apparently because I just want to keep talking
Okay, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.